So I want to do a little formula that is going to calculate my total here, which is going to be the subtotal multiplied by the sales tax over here. So to do a little formula, I'm just going to press the equals. I'm going to click on that, use the asterisk for multiply, click on the 20% there and press enter. That's all good so far. Now if I want to copy that down and I could just copy and then paste it into here, or I could use the autofill on the bottom right hand side and I click and drag that down, but something's not going to be right there. And one of the reasons that this goes wrong is over here, you'll see it's taking D5 multiplied by D1, which is correct, that's the first one we did. And if I click in this one, you'll see it's got D6, so it's moved down to that one there, that's correct. But it's also now taking D2, it's shifted this down here. And again, the same will have happened here, D7 times D3, which is that one. And that one there is D4, which is a subtotal over here. And a number multiplied by text is going to give me this error here. So when I copy it down, which is relative referencing, quite often you do want it to change because it could be that multiplied by that and it gives you that. And then when you drag it down, you want them all to shift. But there are times that you don't want it to do that like now. So when I copy this down, I don't want that row to change. I want it to stay on D1. So what I have to do is click in here and change this formula. If I put a dollar sign in front of that one, when I click and drag it down, it will now make sure that that one stays locked and doesn't change. That's called absolute referencing. And if it was going across and I didn't want the column to change, I would put a dollar in front of the column. If you're doing it across and down, you might put dollar in front of both of those. But for this, I'm copying it down, so it's just the row. I want it to stay like that. And I'm just going to press enter. I'm now going to copy that down. And there you are. You'll see on each of these, it's showing it as D1. So that is absolute referencing, and you can simply copy it down to do that. There is a little shortcut. If I have it like this, and I've clicked on it in here, and actually a neat little trick, if you're on Windows, if you press F4 on the keyboard, it will toggle through your options for the dollar signs. If you're using a Mac, then Control T does the same thing there in toggling through. Absolute referencing and a little shortcut to do it. Just remember the dollar sign and it will stop things copying down and keep things absolute for you.